Have you ever wondered what are the signs that you know that he is actually falling in love with you? What his feelings for you are? Check this out. Six signs he's falling over head over heels in love with you. Now, if you want to know more about what exactly you want to be looking out for in your dating and romantic relationship life to tell you if he is truly so focused on you that he is indeed falling in love, then comment below. I am ready. I'm, of course, Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man you want, desires and hello pursues you for Ever. Now, if you like anything that I wear, that I share, anything about this content, then do me a favor, give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe for more juicy videos coming your way. And lastly, don't forget to forward it to a girlfriend or two if this content indeed resonates with you. Now, listen until the very end for surprising added bonus that you don't want to miss. So let's go ahead and dive right into the six signs that he's head over heels falling in love with you. Number six is he remembers details. Now we all know this kind of funny note connotation, so to say, right? Like the man is like, so how long have you been married? When's my birthday? You know, men tend to get the more masculine they are, <laughs> they get dates wrong all the time because they don't remember details, right? They're more focused on the big picture, right? This has also, of course, evolutionary reasons because they had to focus on is the bison running towards me, right? They didn't need to know the details. Let's see when we're thinking about the gathering gathering aspect of the woman who was actually picking berries on how to decide is this berry smaller than the other berry, which makes it actually poisonous. So that's why women, the more feminine they are, they are more detail oriented. So when the man remembers details, it's a huge deal because it actually takes him more energy. It takes him more focus. It takes him more willpower. So he needs to have a very good reason and purpose to do so. So if he remembers details, chances are he is falling head over heels in love with you. Now comment below if you haven't done so already. Tell me where are you watching from? Number five is he's trying to impress you. Now I know what you want to say. Well, Antje, what about insecure men? What about men who always give their power away? What about men who are focusing on themselves? So you really want to see all of the points in conjunction with each other. But if it's really a confident man, and he's still trying to impress you, it's because he wants to impress upon you, right? He wants to leave an impression, an imprint on you in your heart because he cares so deeply. Now, also, men are naturally, the more masculine are, very competitive, right? So they need to impress you. They need to leave a, a like a vibration, a fingerprint on you so that you're not comparing him to another man, right? So you need to think about how do I stand out of the crowd that she picks me? So he will try to impress you. He will do this by either giving you gifts uh, through his body language. We will go into in a second right? He will like make you compliments that you've not heard before. So he may be more creative than he normally is. Maybe out of the sudden he starts to write poetry, which takes me to point number four. He surprises himself. Now, I don't know if you've ever watched He's Just Not That Into You, but uh, you know, it's like really great comedy and there's two characters. I forgot this one character, but he's like a bartender and the other woman who's like actually much more insecure, anxiously attached, right, is her name is Gigi. And so like the bartender is actually training Gigi how to deal with men and so on. And eventually Gigi is falling in love with the bartender. And the bartender's like, no, 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 you're doing exactly what I don't want you to do because the bartender is, of course, secretly an avoidant attachment style. So... What actually ends up happening is he actually starts to fall in love with her and he starts to surprise himself. He starts to call her, ring, ring, 
leaving her a voice message. Hello, it's me. I just wanted to call. And he tries to act the same way how she was acting, right? Like men will surprise themselves. They will go out of their way in ways that they would never expect. Creativity will come out of them like they would never expect. So if you see that your man is starting to just act a little bit weird and how he normally doesn't act, but in a good way, chances are he's falling head over heels in love with you. Now, I also want to leave you with a tangible tip, which is hands on hips. So I love to talk about body language because you can't really argue with it. Also, body language is much more unconscious. So we're doing it without even noticing. For example, if we don't agree with something, we may talk about something, but we may shake our hand the, the head the whole time. For example, you can see that a lot in politics, <laughs> as you can imagine. So hands on hips, he wants to, for one, puts hands on hips because he wants to come off as more confident, but he's also stabilizing himself. So he may be a little bit nervous, a little bit insecure, right? Like he really wants you to like him and, you know, he wants to kind of like support himself, stabilize himself. But also my theory is that when he puts the hands on his hips, he also wants to appear bigger. So think about a peacock right? A peacock wants to appear bigger, right? It has like this massive uh, wheel of feathers, so to say, to really impress the female. So when he does that, right, like chances are he definitely wants to leave an impression on you and maybe even falling in love with you head over heels. Now, if you like this content so far, do me a favor again, like it, share it with a girlfriend or two, and don't forget to subscribe. Number two is he goes out of his way. And I want to say this again and again because I see so many women come to me in my programs, here on YouTube, right? Everywhere. And, you know, they always come, well, this man is not available because he got recently divorced. This man is not available because you know, like his, his child is graduating, right? This man is not available because, uh, you know, they haven't sold the house yet from the ex-wife. So there's always like this thing. But the truth is, when a man is falling head over heels in love with you, he will go out of his own way. Like, again, he will totally surprise himself. Like, we have stories where people, where this guy came from New Zealand, she came from Germany, they met in the US, and then he ended up flying all over the place to see her. Also, men will remember, what's your favorite dessert? I have one client and she really had to get used to when the man that actually she deserved to have in her life after attracting a bunch of emotionally unavailable men to her life, like she had to get used to, wow, this man is going out of his way, right? Like he's actually driving to get a car, to do something thoughtful, to plan a trip, right? So that she can be surprised that she feels good about herself and that she is happy. And finally, number one, he is being inquisitive. So we all have experienced that when you go on a date and you notice you know what, like the man is not really listening. He's kind of listening just so he knows what response to give immediately to you, right? So he's not really like an active listener, right? But what actually men will do when he's falling head over heels in love with you, he's really like partaking in your life. He's seeing himself as sort of the main uh, character in your movie, right? Like the, the, the role right next to the main character. And so that really means like he is right on the ride with you. He experiences what you are experiencing. So he's asking you questions about like, okay, wait a minute, you just told me about your experience that you had last week. How did the dinner go with your parents, right? Or how was the job interview? Or how was the trip? Tell me more about it. Wait, what happened? Wait, you saw a whale and then what happened? Wait, you got, your boat got tipped over. Then what did you think? Were you scared? So he is going to be an active listener. Like he's going to be there right there with you. So when he does this, chances are that he is indeed falling head over heels in love with you. So before we go into the bonus point, for those of you and still uh, stayed until the very end, pop into the comment section. What do you think a man is doing when he is in love? What have you experienced? I would love to know. And finally, my bonus for those of you who stayed until the very end, he gets jealous even if he's normally not. Now, this actually reminds me of a story that I have before I met my husband Brody. 
uh, one of the first guys that I dated, right, he was like extremely attracted to me, in love with me. And it was super weird because he was always attracting women into his life that were jealous of him. One was even spying on him, right, following him around. And I didn't do that. I was just living my life, having fun, hanging out with my other friends as well. And he got jealous. So for example, I went to a soccer game with my friends and he said, who did you meet there? How many guys hit on you? I went to the club with my friends and immediately he's like, well, what happened? You know what I mean? Like, again, like how many men hit on you? And so on. And the funny part was he was actually not jealous at all. Like his friends were like totally shocked. So when he is falling head over heels in love with you, he will surprise himself and really do things, odd things, weird things, strange things that he doesn't want to do because he is truly caring so much for you and he doesn't know what to do with himself. Now, take our free relationship diagnostics to attract the man you want at mymquiz.com. The link is also in the description below. And if you haven't done so already, watch next. When a man deeply loves you, he will start saying these five things. Lots of love and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.